Rico. Let's do it. Michael, we have a new team that has cracked the top 10. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the University of North Carolina. North Carolina defeated the U 41 to 31. And it wasn't that close, by the way. No. That was all garbage time for Miami. Uh, for me, look, they got Tez Watkins back. He was one of the most impactful transfer portal guys. He comes back because the NCAA got a brain. Six catches, 134 yeah. yards. Don't know what happened, but oh, we're going to let Tez right. play. And again, I've, I've been saying since the beginning of the year, I like Drake May more than Caleb Williams. I just think he's a 6'4", 225-pound, designed in a lab NFL quarterback. Can they get this done? Can they win the ACC? Can they go to the playoff? Yeah. The and road look, is there. What they did to Miami was they pounded the rock. That was unexpected. Miami generally will stop you on the ground. So, look, I'm fine with it. Their tests are incoming. Yeah, down the road. At number nine, taking a step back, is the University of Oregon losing a close game in UW 36-33. to Mistakes were made. Dan Lanning had opportunities to maybe kick field goals, decided to go with analytics and go for it. But I got the Ducks at number nine. I think they're underrated. But it's your power rank. You do whatever you want. I think they're clearly one of the six best teams in America. But it's your rank, not right. mine. Go ahead, number eight. Well, there has to be a penalty for losing, Mike. No, and not when you actually play. See, this no, no, is no, the no, difference. No, 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 no. You're doing no, what Costa I, does. I, I'm not doing that, Mike, but I have other teams that did well. My point is, they go to Washington and play an absolute classic, and you want to sit here and draw a warm bath for Kenny. Then tell me who I need to, to move them up for, because that numbers. You know what? Maybe I'll move them to number eight. Who's number eight? Texas. Yes. They didn't play anybody. Fine. They're on a bye. above them. F Texas. <laughs> I hate that state. <laughs> Horns down. Boy, how things change. No, I just, again, I'd have Texas higher too. But I respect when you actually play someone. I, I, Mike, I do as well. But I also sit here and reward victories. So when you go out and do what you're supposed to do and you lose, you're not out the top 10, but you do have to take a step back. Okay? You don't get to rise up because you lost a game, a close game. I know my truth. how life works. Okay? It's not orange slices. I know my truth. In juice boxes. You can do whatever you like. At number seven. I'm not participating. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Who's number seven? Penn State University. They had a laugher against UMass. Right here, right now, neutral field. Oregon versus Penn State. Who are you taking? Hmm. That's a great question. It's easy. Oregon. You should change that ranking. No, I, I, I would probably take Penn State, Mike. Wow, team can't put the ball 10 yards down the field. You're going to take them. Yes, I would. I, I like love Penn arguing State. through this. It's outstanding. All I right. like Penn State. You know what? We're going to find out a lot about Penn State this weekend. As they Who do you like early look to... ahead in that game against OSU? Do you like Penn State getting four and a half? I kind of do because I don't know who's all playing for Ohio State. You know what I like in that game? The under. I think both of these offenses stink. Yeah, Penn, Stink. Penn State is exactly who I think they are. Ohio State is underachieved all year. I think Michigan long. has the best offense of the three. I know, but that wasn't a, an option. You said between. Oh, Penn I know. State I'm just State. saying. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, at number six is Oklahoma. They also on a bye, but defeated, also overrated. But defeated Texas. I'm not acknowledging that. They did. It happened. That's facts. Like it or not. I got Oklahoma at six. On a bye. That's fine. I really hope Texas gets a crack at them in the Big 12 title game because they'll ace that team out. David, any comment to this? Okay. No, David's not participating. At he's told you his energy's low. He's not excited about the rivalry game. Wah, wah, wah. He's not going to help us this week. I'm not I'm not going to say what I was just thinking. So Why don't you alone. just no, you say it? Oh. <laughs> say it. Come on. Mike's basically saying he won the election. I want a recount. Mm -hmm. Cotton Bowl, recount. Texas, he's just ignoring it. Mm -hmm. Re right. If I say it enough, it's true. They put those <laughs> ballots in Indiana Carp. Right. I'm doing the same thing the bought and paid for media does with the Heisman Trophy. If I say it enough, it has to be true. At number five, the Ohio State University. They handle their business. They went down to Purdue. Got it done 41 to seven. They're still not looking right. They're not right. And their coach put shoe polish in his beard. 
has nothing to do with whether you win a game or not. It has everything to do with it. <laughs> everything. If Ryan Day would age gracefully, they'd pick up more fourth and ones. It's science. I think they're overrated, but you're right. You find out this weekend. Now, I still, yes, they're at home and they're favored by four and a half over Penn State. But if I had Oregon going to CBUS this weekend, this is where I think you're disrespecting Oregon. And I think you're being a victim to one result in a vacuum. No, I'm being the person that says every week it changes. And when you lose, yeah, you're going to fall. Well, you know what? You read cartoon books. Next. It makes a ton of money. <laughs> and, they, and mine are worth a lot. So I don't know what I to just, say. I, look, at Kenny's <laughs> disgusted. What's the problem? Leave him in his cartoon books alone. I like the cartoon books. Come on now. I'm sorry. Go but ahead. Kenny, this is when I know he has nothing when he goes to the cartoon books. <laughs> That's what I know. Mike is just sitting there floundering on the ground. I'm so upset. At number four, Washington. Simply because, you know what? You just lost a key piece to the puzzle this week. Georgia. The Georgia Bulldogs. Now, they beat Vandy 37-20, to 20, but they Ooh. lost Brock Bowers for at least the season. He could be back, but that's to me, was major. Look, Bauer's the best player in America. And you take him off the offense, it's going to hurt. Now, they have Lad McConkey, They have Ra Ra. They got Love It. They have weapons. But we're going to need to see Carson Beck operate and continue to grow without the cheat code. I mean, Bowers truly is a unicorn. George is still really good. I, I, I'm glad you moved him down a little bit. I, I got it right. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I feel like North Carolina at 10 was good. I feel like this is good. The rest of these are an atrocity. I but should have, ahead. what, Oregon 2? Okay. No, I would have had them 4 or 5. At number 3, I got the University of Michigan. They dismantled in, uh, Indiana. They scored 52 unanswered points and basically scored all their points in the second quarter on. They didn't score anything in the first they did what they were supposed to do. They got it done, and they're still just kind of hovering, waiting for that Penn State game. Yeah, uh, they're they're a freight train. Now, they're doing what they should do. Who you play and how you play, they've passed the how yeah. you play the last three weeks. They look, they're a machine. But when you haven't played anyone, it's very, I'm going to need you to go ahead and also turn that off. <clears throat> I am not going to look. I am not going to okay. look at that even in a passing manner. Now there's Urban talking about Michigan he, State football. He's, he's breaking down the game film. Urban, come home. He's breaking down the game field. Yeah. What film? The, well, at least Rutgers. They ought to have a side by side of Harlan Barnett and Ronald Brown McDonald. And okay. Just a slander. At number two, UW, the University of Washington, defeating Oregon at home 36 to 33 in one of the games of the week. You think Urban's excited looking at the roster he's going to inherit? He looks intense. He looks. He looks like oh, he just puked on Jerry Donardo. Oh, what a segment! Oh. <laughs> I've lost. <my. laughs> Washington's really good. I still don't trust them in a big spot. I, I still. What else do they need to do? I, well, it must be nice when you get your biggest game at home. My point is, all things being equal, is their front seven going to be good enough against a team like Michigan? The world may never know. And who's number one? But, but, but I can say the same for Michigan. Can you handle and your defense handle Washington? Right, that's because you're a biased party. At least Washington has played somebody. Okay? Sorry. And at number one still is Florida State. Oh, come on. Florida State just to be Syracuse 41-3. to three. Florida State still has the best victories, Mike. I, uh, what right. are, 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 I don't you, know, you, man. You yeah, keep saying I, play somebody. They played people. The problem They've won is, two games. Away from Tallahassee. Clemson and LSU actually are booty now. So I don't know if that They're matters. They're still better than UNLV and East Carolina. Yeah. No, dude. Rico I, wins. I might have put Washington at one with Oregon being five. That's well, probably that, what that's I would do. That's because you're a true professional. Yeah. And I want to thank you for your participation. All right. Next week, David's and Mike's top I, ten. Yes. We're going to do the Christian top you know ten. What? Which apostle will reign supreme? David and Mike's top ten, and I'll get to just ridicule it all week Rico's long. got Pontius Pilate at six. All right. We're out of here. Great stuff by <laughs> you. Turn that off up there. 97-1.